we decided to do uh, Peewee. We use a portable electronic weather evaluator. And uh, Peewee uses four sensors and uh, this top LCD to read temperature, wind speed, pressure, and altitude. It displays those, and then on the lower LCD screen, uh, based on the weather conditions that it reads, it'll give you recommendations on what you should do for the day. So now I'm turning uh, Peewee on here. So on the right hand side you'll notice there's two light arrays. The one here is a temperature array, so as the temperature increases you'll see the LED <coughs> go up. And also uh, when it gets to a certain temperature, Peewee will give us a recommendation on what to do. And he says, it's hot out here, let's go to the pool. We also have a high temperature light um, as an extreme condition. And so as we cool it down, notice LEDs start to drop. Our anemometer is inside this casing, and we have an up and down button to control that, which is controlled by a NEMA 17 stepper motor and an Easy Driver driver board. The, uh, the reason we chose uh, a stepper motor was for precision, precisional accuracy. And uh, as you can see here, we have this uh, 3D printed part that the anemometer sits on top of, and uh, we've converted uh, rotary motion of the stepper motor into linear motion through the use of uh, Acme fetter rod or a lead screw and uh, two um, stabilizing rods. Now the anemometer's out of the uh, housing. Uh, whenever we start blowing on the anemometer, take note of the light array that'll go around the top and also this gauge on the, this side is the uh, wind speed. Once we increase to a, a high wind speed, our high wind warning light will turn on. <laughs> In case Pee Wee isn't giving you good enough recommendations and you're getting kind of bored, we incorporated a little light show button. So Pee Wee will just kind of continue that until you want. Also, if you're ever lost, uh, this is meant for kind of backpacking or camping, so if you're ever lost, we incorporate an SOS signal. This is in Morse code, so it's three short pulses, three long pulses, and three short pulses. Also to complement the SOS signal, we have a sound button. So if you can't make any noise for any reason. Uh, we have a unit change button, so you can change between metric and English. The device is powered through two 9-volt batteries. Uh, one 9-volt is uh, powered in the Arduino, which the Arduino has a voltage regulator, and then sends out 5 volts to uh, Everything else, such as our LEDs, LCD displays, and uh, we have another 9 volt power source which powers, uh, goes straight into our driver board, which is running our uh, stepper motor. And the driver board also has a voltage regulator, which then outputs 5 volts to our PIC microcontroller, which um, sends signals back and forth to the driver board to uh, control the stepper motor. We use an Arduino Mega, we have, six, we have 60 LEDs, so we have a total of 120 leads. Um, so to keep from those contacting each other, we heat shrunk, heat shrunk every single one, and the mega was used so we had enough pins to run on those. We're measuring temperature with this thermistor here. It's a resistor that changes its resistivity with temperature. Um, we wanted to do this because that way we could pull it out and have it outside, so you could actually get an accurate representation of the temperature outside, and we <coughs> velcro to the side so we can test it. We also are measuring barometric pressure with a pressure sensor. It's a little hard to see. I'll see if you can zoom in and. I'll point out to it, it's just, uh, it is right here, and it uses a piezo resistive crystal to measure the barometric pressure, and then it can also measure altitude as a function of pressure. 